In this video, I want to show you how to approach drills so you can play them like professionals. And it's also not about me. I'm not a professional player and it's also not about this specific drill. The drill is just used as an example of how we can use this drill to achieve different goals by using a different approach and different methods, so you can benefit from it. And I'm going to start out with a very, very simple drill. A drill where you just practice your straight shooting. This drill was shown to me by one of the top professionals. Just let me show it to you. So, I'm going to show you the drill. And again, it's not about the drill, it's just about what we can do with this drill uh, to achieve different goals. That's about it. Please also don't judge me, I'm not a professional, definitely not. I'm just a regular player. So, this ball at the beginning, the white ball, we don't need it. We just need this ball. You can extend it with 15 balls, you can start from the second diamond, the first diamond, from the uh, fourth diamond. Whatever you want, it's up to you. Just want to show you how it is as it is right now and what we can do with it later on. Okay, let's start. Just get the ball into the pocket, try to have a possible straight shot. That's about it. You aim for the next one, you go down and try to do the same with the next ball. That's about it. Okay, awesome. Now we take the, th the third ball, stand in line, go down. Try to aim, pre-shot routine as you would do normally. And then the last one, just for demonstration purpose. There you go. Nice. Now we're going to use the white ball. For now, the goal is I'm gonna hit the white ball and the object ball and just try to draw the ball maybe down here to the second diamond. Let's see if it works. Open bridge, closed bridge, it's definitely up to you. Okay, first one, nice. Second one. Go down. Open bridge now. Okay, perfect. Third one. Pre-shot routine, walk into the shot. I almost did not make it. Drew it even a little bit too far. Last one. Aim the shot, walk into the shot. There you go. Stroke. And there you go. So, according to my goals, I would have finish this drill successfully. But now, let's switch to yeah, some different goals you can apply to this drill. What I learned from professionals is that they use these kinds of drills when working on their stroke to focus especially on different goals they want to achieve. Let's assume my first goal right now is not to only to, to pot the ball, that should be a given, but I'm focusing right now on my pre-shot routine, meaning, that I try to see my angle, I try to determine what my pre-shot routine is, see the angle, go down, prep myself, go down, stroke as many times as I feel necessary so I feel comfortable and then I just pot the ball. That could be my focus and I do this 15 times or 30 times or a thousand times just to hone this skill. But what you might have noticed is that I was standing up quite quickly. So I did not focus on my post-shot routine. So maybe another exercise with the same balls could be that I'm not only focusing on a pre-shot routine. So meaning eyeing up what I want to do, go down, go into the shot, stroke as many times necessary so I feel comfortable and then stay down and then go up. So now I do pre-shot routine and post-shot routine. Another thing could be 
that I'm focusing on uh, my follow through. You might have noticed that I didn't talk about this. It was a nice follow through, but did I do the follow through not dropping the elbow? So like this, not dropping the elbow. Or did I do the follow through like this, like dropping the elbow? You can focus on this. I'm not judging what would be the better solution with which kind of shot you could apply more, let's say quality. I'm not the one to judge this here. It's just a different goal you can apply to the same exercise. Let me show you. Once without dropping elbow, once with dropping elbow, once with pre-shot routine and post-shot post routine and the same with the other shot. Could look like this. So I go down. And now I just want to focus on a straight shot but not dropping my elbow. Okay. I stood down, really tried to wait until the object ball was in the pocket before I stand up. Now I try to do the same shot without, uh, with dropping elbow right now. So pre-shot routine, go down, stroke, follow through, stay down and go up. So these are just four examples, but I'm gonna show you a couple of more now. Okay, now I'm going to show you two more different options you can apply to the same easy, easy, easy drill. One could be to try to pot the ball, including pre-shot routine, including post-shot routine, uh, using open and closed bridge. For example, could look like this. You eye up the angle, you start with the same way, you go down, do your practice strokes, okay, and just try to pull it off open bridge. Then you just switch, do the same exercise, again with 15 balls or with three balls, four balls, it's up to you. You eye up the angle, you make sure you walk into the shot, you go down and if you want to use the closed bridge, of course, <laughs> you should need the closed bridge, no question about it. So you walk into the shot, you go down using the closed bridge and do the same again. Perfect. But now, in the next exercise, you try to do the same thing, maybe open bridge, but after the shot, you try to focus on uh, that your tip of the cue uh, will finish on the top of the felt. That's a very impo important thing. So for example, if this would be your goal and you're shooting like this, okay? So you're doing this, then you definitely missed your goal because your goal was that after the shot, the tip of your cue should be on the felt. Maybe, then this could be your goal. So you eye up the angle, you do your pre-shot routine, you walk into the shot, you try to pot the ball, but rest the tip on the felt, okay? So another four examples, which you could apply different goals on this very, very simple drill. Most importantly is, and that's what I definitely learned. That's the big, big lesson here is don't try to practice everything all together. Try to practice each and everything separately and then try to step by step put it together until you have a really, really perfect straight stroke. More goals you can apply to this drill. Let me show you. We talked about pre-shot routine, post-shot routine, etc., etc. But let's assume my goal right now is that I work on my focus, meaning on my eye focus. We all know the problem with our good old friend Whitey, uh, especially for beginners, sometimes that's an issue. Um, I have my white ball here, this is my object ball, and sometimes people struggle, should I look last before I deliver the cue on my white ball or on my object ball? I'm not here to judge what's better, that's up to you. But just imagine we want to focus on uh, repeatedly being able to just focus where we want to focus. In my case, I want to focus on the object ball last. In that case, that would be my corner pocket. So I would go down to the shot, do my pre-shot routine, eye up the angles, walk into the shot. Now I'm looking at the object ball, but before I deliver the cue, now I'm looking into the corner pocket. And that's the same what I want to do with the next shot. So, 
I'm focusing right now to do my pre-shot routine, to walk into the shot. I'm looking at the object ball right now. Now I'm looking into the corner pocket and now I'm delivering the cue into the corner pocket. Now I'm maybe finished with uh, practicing my focus and now maybe I want to tweak or work on my stance a little bit. So I can use the same exercise working on my stance. Meaning I try to do my pre-shot routine, post-shot routine and maybe I think to myself, hmm, let's see if a different stance would work a little bit better for me. So you could go down and maybe stand a little bit more sideways like old Oliver Ortmann back in the days. Yeah. Or you could go down and maybe try to have a straight leg at the beginning, at the back, like snooker players. You don't see it right now, but I'm gonna show you. Or you can go down and twist your body a little bit more to the side and get a little bit closer to the ball. And the goals could be endless. Maybe you try to uh, shoot the ball with a shorter bridge or with a longer bridge to grip, grip your cue farther behind or a little bit more to the front. So now you see there are multiple, actually endless options, endless goals you can apply by simply just putting a ball into a pocket. It's actually a simple drill if you look at it first, but if you think it through in detail, there's a lot of challenges waiting for you more goals you can apply onto this drill. For example, the wrist. Meaning, how and where do you hold the grip? That could be one thing you are going to focus on this drill. But also, how you hold the grip, actually. Filipino style, very loosely. Or are you holding the grip actually very straight forward, like straight down? Or are you going to hold the grip a little bit more, twisting your wrist to the inside? Also could be an option. So whatever you prefer, whatever your focus is, whatever, where you want to feel more comfortable or whatever you think you want to work on, that's also a pretty, pretty damn good exercise to use it to work on it. So just putting everything else we already talked about aside, imagine you're now focusing on your wrist. That could be an awesome exercise to work on. And the same, of course, applies to uh, your elbow position, your shoulder position, your back position, etc., etc., etc. And now you understand how versatile these, this simple drill is and how versatile the approach of you for a drill could be. It's not only about just potting the ball, everything which comes first and what you put yourself as a goal, that's actually that what makes it really, really challenging. So, and now imagine you wanna transfer everything you learned on, the, on this part of the drill to the other part of the drill. And now, as shown previously, that gets really, really, really challenging. Because imagine you changed your stance, imagine you changed your focus, Imagine you changed uh, whatever, or you worked on a different thing, and now you have to apply it here. So in this case, it becomes a real challenge to just repeatedly do the same you, are, you practiced here and apply it to those other four balls, but now including a good old friend, YT White Ball. And pro tip at the end of this part is you can do it simultaneously. So you can put the four balls here, or five balls, six balls, it's up to you guys, whatever you wanna do. Leave whitey white ball on this side and just assume that you wanna focus on the situation, follow through and leaving the tip of your cue on the table. So you just go down, you do your warm up situation, you smoothly follow through and then you do the same thing on this side. Put the white ball where you want to do it and immediately try to do it with the white ball. So you walk into the shot, you do the same thing like we did here and you try to do the same thing. Then you switch over again to this part, you leave the white ball ready for the next shot. You go on the right side, you do the same thing again. You eye up the angle, 
you go down, pre-shot routine, warm-up strokes, try to follow through and now you immediately work on the other side. So you go down and see now that my pre-shot routine was not working, so I really need to eye up my angle, go back, walk into the shot. Yeah, now I feel comfortable, perfect. And I'm fine. What I did not do well in my evaluation right now was that I did not follow through right now as much as I wanted. But that's how it is and that's the good thing about these kind of drills. Um, you can really, really work on it and that's just the fun and the challenge we all are striving for. So, and to finish up this video, I got a very, very nice nine ball drill for you. I really like this one. It's, it's actually not too difficult, but also not too simple. Just have a look and enjoy. What I try with these kind of drills is just to apply whatever I set my goal to, to these kind of drills. So if my goal is the pre-shot routine or considering my wrist or my post-shot routine, that's what I wanna focus on. So let's enjoy me playing this drill. If you wanna learn more about how professionals think, just follow my podcast, Pocketed the Pool Billiard Podcast. In this series, I'm talking with a lot of professionals and by just listening to them, that's gonna be very valuable to you as well. Whatever you just saw right now could be applied to different kinds of drills, different kinds of exercises as well. So don't limit yourself by just trying to 
uh, finish a drill or just trying to complete a drill, that's one thing. But that just gives you one feedback of your performance. Another performance feedback is really how you execute the technique, how you execute your mental approach to the drill, etc., etc., etc. So it's really worth, in my opinion, to really focus on those kind of specifics when you start practicing drills. Please click like and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more of me. Thanks so much.